Welcome to the Lens Island demo, the open world base building farming sim dungeon crawler crafting game. Build, fight, farm and explore. Experience your own path, whether it's building the home of your dreams, tending to your crops and watching the sun go down, or explore the mysteries of the island in the darkness underneath. But you may want to take a sword with you. Let's start a new game, create our character. I already played this game for about an hour. I watched some dev streams as well, and it's a very interesting little game with a lot of different games and genres kind of mixed in, little touches from everything. So we're gonna go through the features and the functions as we play the game, but first, character creation. We can change our hairstyle, we can change our vest. I think I wanna go just without a vest. And this is the island look, absolutely like it. We have some different type of pants, but yeah, I'm gonna stick with that. That to me is the original island look, here we go. And here we are on Lens Island. Movement is actually not done with WASD, though there is a scheme put together where you can switch to WASD. It's currently the right mouse, so it's very Diablo style movement, where you just hold the right mouse down and your Q, W, E uh, keys are used for special actions. Q is for tumble, and then you have your W, E, R keys for special attacks that you get when you equip certain weapons. But we're gonna get into all of that as we play. So you have resources on the island, you have trees, you have bushes. You can hit the bushes if you want to get some fiber. Then you can hit uh, some other bushes which have colors, which in this case is berries. Then you have some other ones which is lavender. And then you have some other ones here which are pure fiber. These ones are just fiber, so they give you a lot more fiber than bushes would give you. So you have a lot of variety on different resources. Then of course we have our trees here, so we can start chopping wood. There we go, to get those guys down. And collecting things, the noise, very nice, love the audio, and then collecting it, you just run over it. Over here we have boulders, so these ones are just like stone rocks. Then you have lime rocks over there, and um, then you have coal, you have iron. If you open your tap menu, you can see this is all the resources the game has. So there is no traditional inventory. The inventory is more that it's always there, it's always accessible. So you can um, just have up to 250 items in it, so you have to obviously use them actively, you know, like put things in your forge, uh, refine them things like that then you have food currently there's only four food items in the game sorry two food items in the game and two plants and then you have the building menu which is actually really really fun to play with there's a, a lot of different parts and uh, components to the building and you have three different variations you have the wood version of the buildings you have the stone version of the buildings and as you can see here on the materials there would be more glass and lime and then you have limestone here, sorry, just stone, wood, and fiber. And then you have the ornate versions, which are then limestone and stone and fiber and glass for the windows or some clay as well for some of the other structures, the archways. And then of course you have um, farm beds. You have the garden bed, a little cute bed in which gardens can be grown in and extravagant, extraordinary farm to grow crops in. Again, ornate, stone, and wood versions. They all have different looks to them. And uh, this is where you can grow your food, your own blueberries, your own pumpkins, you can grow the flowers in there. And then here you have some workstations, your utility and your storages. Uh, currently there's only a fireplace and a refinery. Also a lot of things in the demo are made for the demo as in to simplify them. So we we'll see more in a second. And then you have decorative items, which I'm a big fan of, you know, especially um, when you can make big bases, you know, to not have them just empty, but to make rooms look like they have a purpose. One of the actions that I really like in this game you probably saw it already it's a little flash on the um tool when you hit something your weapon has a shiny little circle on it so when you hit the weapon again as the shiny white circle uh, appears you actually do more damage so we hit a tree and if we just hit it it's six so you left mouse click you hit it but if you hit it you hear that little swing that thing Sing, that's when you get nine damage instead of six. So you do increased damage. It's called a critical hit, which is really awesome. The combat system in this game is, is simplistic, but it's definitely very interesting. And I like that they mixed a combat system like this, which is kind of Diablo style kind of combat. There's no ranged attacks yet or ranged weapons, but that will come as far as I know um, into the game. So it's very, very fun to play with. And then here we have the starter harbor or pier. Now, as far as I know, a lot of this is done purely for the demo. So you can get a good 
inside of everything you can get a good look at everything so here you have your uh, pantry where you have the food that you collect in it and all the food you have is actually in the pantry so as you can see we have there four so if we close the pantry now and we eat one of those and we open that we have three so your pantry kind of keeps stock out of everything so you never really lose your food if you replace your food on the hot bars you just have to go back to your pantry and drag and drop it down and place it in your hot bar and that's pretty much it then you have uh, this table here which is currently all your tools. Now you already have an iron pickaxe and iron axe. Then you have a torch, which you can craft, a water can. Once you crafted the items, you can continuously go back here to these tables and just equip them. Now you can make weapon racks and tool racks for your house where you can just have all these items there and you can just equip them after you crafted them um, continuously. So they're not really items that you can lose. They're not physical items. You just basically, once you crafted them, can always go to this table or to your weapon rack and drag them onto your hotbar whenever you want them. So you can see here they have different types of uh, tools and they cost, uh, this one is costs coins, fiber and iron shards. Then you have a brutal plate. You can see it does some extra damage and it has a little bit of extra speed. You have other weapons here as well, like a halberd or clave, uh, what it is. And you see these extra abilities on these weapons that are then appearing down here on the bottom left with your Q, where you get other um, options then for WERT. They are working on a movement scheme for WASD play. Um, because people have said that they would like to see that and I saw a tweet where they were saying that they're working on that So you have like a big two-handed axe for example, which has a lot more oomph It has like the brute force damage or the impact damage and it has less speed You have a nice new wood chopping axe that you can craft and so on and so on and then different type of versions um, Of these tools and those weapons and then this is the mother of all weapons right now available in the demo Which is the angler dangler then you have also resources everywhere now I don't know if that stay stays like this after the demo but one of the things that the developer mentioned in his videos is that these npcs uh, currently there's only the one npc will be interactable and they will give you quests as you play you know so you can like earn you know coin or whatever and have like a bit of a story and there will be other npcs like traders where you can do a lot of things so you don't have to go to these barrels here to do that so this is just purely for the demo to give you easy access to everything so here i can sell resources or buy resources so if i have a huge amount of one type of resource i can just sell it all and then can just buy other ones if that stays after the demo i have no idea so we have the lavender here we have the blueberries here we have marigold the pumpkins and that's the only four items we actually have for food and flowers and then here we have all the resources except coal which we're gonna have to find ourselves so as you explore the island uh, you come across um, in the demo currently there's only two of those um, kind of jumping puzzles I think there's three jumping puzzles yeah there's also caves and dungeons in this uh, game and there's already a dungeon in the demo you can complete which has monsters and combat which we're gonna get into as well but these jumping puzzles um i find them a bit tricky with the control layout right now but once you kind of get used to it it's fine there you go it's not that difficult but it's, it takes you a little bit of practice we have some marigold here that we can collect might as well just chop that apart very good and then here we have a bridge so it's um has this feature as well that certain areas are locked off and you need resources to uh, craft with to actually repair them so we have 30 wood right now so we have to go back get some more wood and then we can come back and repair that bridge which we want to do to get kind of a little bit of uh, resources on the other end these things here they're like jelly you can't hit them or anything you can use them though to jump on to give you a bit of a boost up so let's go to the bridge let's repair it look at that beautiful and now we can get across here and get a couple of treasures this is the hideaway so you just kind of smack on these chests so all these barrels there's a couple of barrels actually around the island and they have some nice coin in there this one had some sapphires in there um i don't know sapphires is sapphires used for crafting or not precious gems found while refining various stones so this could be just a resource that you can make money off and just sell i have uh, i don't think they used it in any crafting recipes and um, then we get some scrap as well leftover scrap now leftover scrap can only be found in barrels and um, in dungeons as well but again, dungeon stuff we're gonna get to in due time. Here you have some target practice dummies, which is really, really cool. So I can go to them and actually test out my damage. So you can see with the ax, if I would actually fight an enemy, I do six damage. If I do the special crit, it's like nine. So we can use our swords, different weapons and try out the different types of damage they're doing as well. And then we have a ranged one, which implies that there definitely will be ranged weapons. 
So we got some coin. We can actually buy our first sword. And we also got some coal, which is awesome because that means we can make our torch, which we need if we want to get into the dungeon. Now, you don't need, need it. You can. Oh, that's a lovely look. What is that? It's like as we die of poisoning. <laughs> so also another thing in this game, you want to make a kind of a basic base first, even if it's just a square with four walls and a bed, because the bed will allow you to save the game. Because in this game, when you die, you lose everything that you had on you and you get brought back to your last point that you saved. So in my case, because I haven't saved, if I die, I will spawn back at where I started. But all my resources that I have on me, everything will be gone because I had nothing on me because that's how it works. So you want to be very careful. You always want to save your game before you head out. Luckily, once you have a bed and you save the whole state of the map in the game gets saved. Oh, there we have bees as well. So some of these trees have actually bees in them. They could give you a little bit of damage, but um, there's no honey or anything in the game, which I hope will be something that will be added because it makes sense. If you have bees in a tree, you might get like a beehive or honey and then a different type of food. Okay, so let's have a look and craft the torch there we go and now that we crafted it we can just drag and drop it right here and now you can see the food is gone and food is used to heal you so there is no hunger or thirst right now i don't know if hunger or thirst will be something that uh, will be introduced i have no idea but right now it's used to heal which you definitely will need once you start heading um, into the dungeons also, if you just listen to, to the night atmosphere, I really like how the sound is changing at night. Let's listen to it for a second here. Hang on. So let's have a quick look at the crafting mechanics. So the way crafting works is you select something and you have to hold it. So if I just click on it, nothing happens. But if I hold it down and drag, don't let go because the moment you let go, it will place it. So if I let go now, it's placed. If I let go and hold Alt down, it will automatically keep it active for me to continue building. So I have no hand on my mouse now, it will just be active and then I right click, uh, sorry, I go and click Cancel. Or I let Alt go. If I want to remove items, I just click F to get into edit mode and then I can just um, left click on something and upgrade it. Or I can destroy it. And you get all your resources back. With your mouse wheel, you can make things higher and lower, which is a pretty cool feature. So we can build uh, something very smooth here to the ground, and then it becomes higher here. So that's pretty cool. So let's make it a little bit higher and place this right here. Let's put another one right here. And then we can uh, build out here. I don't know, we can probably build out further, can we? Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I like that. So let's cancel and let's make the bed if we can. There we go and just place it right here. It doesn't matter right now, just something so we can save. So if we leave building mode now, we can actually sleep through the night. Let's click, we can save and sleep. And here we go, it's morning and the game is saved as well. Now we want to obviously make a farm as well because we want to start growing our own food as quickly as possible. So what I'm going to do now first is I'm gonna get my first sword, which is gonna cost me 20, so we're gonna buy it. And now it's forever available to me. We're gonna put it down here. So let me reorganize a couple of things. I like my sword to be here, my torch to be here, and then here I like to have my tools. <laughs> Pretty much like I do it in Seven Days to Die. But now we got an extra ability. So when we actually have our sword now selected, there we go, it's a one-handed sword. We now have a W ability. Bam, which is like this. And also when you fight with the sword, the same logic applies with critical hits. So you see the circle? So if I press now a few times in a row, he does the same attack. But if I hit the circle to crit... And you can include your special attack in it. So your special attack can be part of the rotation. I'm also going to be taking the food with me and maybe put a little bit of a farm together right here in this area. We want it away from our house. So let's actually see. Yeah, let's make a proper, let's make a big farm. Excellent. So we have our farm here. We also want to actually use our water. Yeah, we want to get a watering can as well now. Actually, let's see how much that costs to get that because you need to water your crop. Otherwise, it doesn't grow. So it has a nice little uh, basic farming mechanic as well, which is pretty cool. So let's have a look to craft this. Oh, we need iron shards. Yeah, for that, we probably need to get into the dungeon first. Let's head over here and let's try this out. If we want to plant, we can plant um, blueberries. Okay. I have four. Oh, it actually remembers blueberries was the last one we selected, so we can do really quick um, placement. So it's three. Okay, so we have another one here. 
and we don't have any more blueberries so for now we might put in some more marigolds possibly just so we can grow them and maybe sell them for money and then we can put some oh look at that we had exactly four lavender as well or three lavender very good so we have a very full um crop already and now we just need to get some resources to um craft the watering can so before we head into the dungeon let's have a look at this island here where we can also get a couple of resources from there we go you can actually jump and roll as well which is amazing and this is pirate island so you have a little bit more limestone here um we might as well actually um get the limestone while we're here actually i get that in a second and this is a it's a bit of a difficult jumping puzzle because of the way the game is kind of semi-isometric or whatever you call it, but it has the, the Diablo movement where you click the mouse to move instead of WASD. It's very hard to time the jump sometimes and the direction of the jump. So, but um, once you figure out that you can also ninja roll while you jump, it's not all that difficult. This part here is a bit tricky. Ah, oh, nice, made it. So once you made that, the rest is semi-straightforward. You have to be very careful here with um, the planks, but if you kind of just kind of semi-click to the walk, you're kind of fine. <laughs> it's a bit of a delicate area here. There we go. Nice. Beautiful. And that's the main treasure. There you go. Whoa, don't, don't fall off. <laughs> there we go. We got some sapphires and oh, we got actually some iron shards. Is that enough? Oh, we only got nine. So that's not enough, but um, very good. We got some resources there. Off we go into the dungeon. It has a lovely loading screen. I love the art of these screens. They're very nice. The ancient caves. Now the demo only has one. But we have some nice light now. Very good. So what you get here is kind of random. Like sometimes you get like um, coal here. Sometimes you could get just iron here. I think this one is iron. This one, does it look like coal? Oh no, this is just a stone. Also a really cool feature in this game is because you can't use the torch when you use a two-handed weapon or tool, um, it obviously removes the torch. But when you switch back to your one-handed uh, weapon, it automatically takes the torch out again, which is really awesome. Oh, this looks like coal. That would be awesome. That's exactly what we need. So basically the, what we need coal for is um, we want to start working on a refinery as soon as possible. So for that we need 35 scrap. Hence we need to destroy a lot of the barrels to get the scrap and we need 25 um, coal. We also want to make a fireplace because that helps us actually heal without food by standing in front of it. So we need 15 coal for that. So in total we need 40 coal just for that so hopefully we're gonna get a few pieces of coal here and if you reach the maximum limit of something so say for example we have the maximum limit of stone before we can uh, pick up more nice there was some oh there was a good bit of coal in here there was eight pieces of coal very sexy um it will just not pick them up it will leave them lying around so for example we have 228 limestone already because i just took apart all the limestone on the island but that's okay and we can use that limestone in our refinery. So let me just take this apart. I think this would be iron, which is very good because that means we can make the watering can. Here we go. Ah, oh, lovely, I love it. Yeah, we have 14, so we need only a little bit more. Okay, so now let's go and do some combat. So the, the guys in here are absolutely terrifying. You're not gonna get any manly war cries from me <laughs> because I already have fought them and already checked it all out. So I can give you guys a very good um, first look at it without taking too long there we go let's go down here and this is a chest we're gonna get to in a second as well oh it's so scary pants though look at these guys also be careful you can fall down the edge and when they hit you they will damage you of course but if you hit them especially in rapid succession then um they get kind of stunned but you can only stun them for so long there is like a diminishing return and after a while of them being stunned you have to um kind of move out of the way okay come on there we go nice and uh, otherwise they will hit you so there, there is a diminishing return where they will guarantee get a hit off if you just keep stunning them or staggering them let's see what we have in here Ooh, that is a sturdy chest. I haven't actually opened this chest before. Oh, yes, this is where we get light stones or something. 
light stones, a rare and magical stone found deep within a cave. I actually don't know if we use it for crafting anything, but I think we need it to make this mega massive weapon, that angler dangler. I think we need it for that. Okay, there's a few more monsters down here. We go a little bit further in, but not much further. Okay, very good so far. We only got hit a little bit. And these monsters, by the way, also have a chance of dropping um, Dark Essence. And Dark Essence is something that you need as well to craft the, 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 the toughest weapons. Now, during the demo, there's only a couple of buildings here. But from what I gathered from the developer stream, after the demo, well, once the game is um, coming to early access, I don't know how long, down here is supposed to be a whole town. Um, I don't know if they have NPCs or not, but I'm really looking forward to the story element of that game, actually, to see why is there a town in these caves? Why do people live in these caves? You know, what is this island actually about? And also, how did we get to this island? Because obviously, you know, maybe, I don't know, are we born on this island and we just, that's our story? Or what is happening? I have actually no idea. So, I, uh, there's so much potential here for a good story. I've, I can't wait to see what they come up with. Um, now, we can go over here as well. And there's another bridge here. I brought enough materials to repair it. I have never actually looked across, so let's repair it. And have a quick look. Oh, look at that. Loads of resources. Nice. Oh, that is very sexy. So we get some nice metal. We get some nice... Oh, there's a chest up here as well. Okay, let's see if we can get to that. On the table. And oh, look at that. There's a dead guy up top there. Okay, we got a jumping puzzle here, and let's get across here. Is there anything we can smack? Oh, look at that! Oh, the knight's pick! We can just literally take it! Awesome! That is so cool! So we can now use that instead of our current pick. Does it have a special attack? It does! So it's like a power attack. Okay, let's mine with that. It does 9 damage, crit is 10. Bam! 16 damage on the special attack. That is awesome. And 14 without it. That is really, really sexy. Is there anything else here? Let me see. There's more resources. Is there no monsters to fight more resources? What do we have here? Oh, there's so many resources. That is really, really awesome. So this is kind of like a little resource island over here. And then we have some more metal. How much metal do we have in stone? So I don't want to pick up too many. Okay, we can pick up a little bit more here. And then let's see what's in the chest. Very nice, more coins. How many coins do we have now? 43, very nice. And that's not even including selling anything. Okay, we're back by the bridge now, and we gotta see if we can complete the dungeon. I mean, if I don't get hit, and we don't get into trouble with health, we should be okay. So over here, uh, we have a fireplace. This fireplace doesn't, uh, fireplace doesn't seem to heal us, but our fireplace that we can build definitely can heal us. Now we wanna be careful, because if we die here, I will go back to the bed where I saved last, and I will lose everything that I've collected since then. So we have to be careful about that. So you want to take risk and reward here very much. Oh, there's a big guy. Nice. Okay, good. Whew. Oh, wow, we got our first essence. Very nice. Here we go. Also, I want to have a little bit more background lore on the creatures on the island. Like, why are they there? Are there demons? Are they from a different dimension? Are there aliens? You know, what, what is this all about? So here we have more resources. We can't do anything with these guys. So we can't get any essence from that. So there's a bit of a jumping puzzle. Oh, no. Shit. Okay, 25 health lost. Wow. That was unexpected. I thought I could jump up there or something into a little mini puzzle. Um, okay, let's not do that again. That cost me a bit of health. Now, over here we have some critters. These critters we can kill very easily, only one hit, but they're there in case you miss this jumping puzzle. I thought we can get up there. So there's a jumping puzzle here, and we miss it. We basically um, can kill these guys one hit, but they can damage you, so be careful. And you also want to do that quick. Lee. <laughs> okay, so we have a couple of more monsters showing up here. 
There's more resources here on the right. Let's see, actually, what is on the right? I haven't gone down too much, actually, on the right. Oh, wow. Corrupt caverns. Oh. What the hell? Is that a big guy? Okay, we're doing very well in combat. Oh my god. <laughs> it sounds very big. Okay, I'm out. I'm out. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Let's just go, go, go. We have to be careful not to fall. Okay. Now we have some room. Oh, no. Yeah, you have to watch out for the jumping attack. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Okay, so now I think we're going to go back home because if we're going to continue, I'm, I will die. And I have no healing with me. Now, the next step is up here. There is a treasure room. Oh, look at that. I didn't even see that. So these notes are very special. They are pure lightstone. So let's actually get some of that. There we go. Nice. And we got another two lightstone. And we're out. Oh, there's some coal. That respawns since we actually got here. So we might as well take advantage of that. There we go. A little bit more coal and stone. So we finally can build our refinery. And the fireplace, um, let's put it here. And right now, I know it looks very crappy, but we only want to be about survival right now. So what I can do right now, I can take this and put some wood in there and light it. And now I heal up. Now let's see how the refinery works. Now we can put wood or coal in. Like right now, I'm just gonna use wood. Now if we do stone, we get metal. If we do, ah, that will give us glass and then clay will give us the sapphire. So if we do, 50 of those, 50 of those for now, 50 of those, and then 20 wood. Oh, they go down pretty far. Look at that. I love the way the fire is actually behind the logo. That is amazing. It's like on fire. It's running. So there we go. It uses three wood. Oh, wow. How many wood? Four wood. Okay, four wood for 10. Okay. Oh, wow. It uses a lot more for sapphires. Yeah, 10 wood for 25. Wow. Okay, let's make the watering can. Excellent. Let's grab that. We need that for the farm. And what we definitely want to do is like sell all these. So let's sell all of the ones we have. There you go for 77. Excellent. And I'm going to buy three pumpkins. They sell for 35. That is really good money. What does the blueberry sell for? 10 only. Okay, let's buy three pumpkins. Let's do it. And then we can make another growing bed and we can start planting the pumpkins now that we have a watering can. Let's put the pumpkins in here. Now we have to use the watering can. Oh, look at that. So W is the special attack, is it? The special... Yeah. Awesome. Oh, it actually does both. Look at this. These ones are growing straight away because they obviously were waiting for water. Very nice. So I've done a few more mini dungeon runs where I only went a little bit in to fight a couple of monster and get more of the crates. And we now have all the resources we need to make the angler dangler. So let's craft this and let's put that in here instead of the weapon. I think it's a 100 weapon. It is. Oh, look at that beauty. So it has three attacks. It has a W. Oh, nice. Then it has an E attack, which is actually two attacks. And then it has an R attack. Oh, beautiful. I can see the R attack be something that you start with. So you can actually chain them as well. See, let me see. Okay. Okay, and then we have to time it right. Yeah, it will take some practice to actually get this down. So let's see how much damage this one does on the enemies. Wow, three hits and they're down. Also, when you eat to heal, we get fully healed 
and anything above that will go into overheal. So if we eat another one, we have 14 overheal, but that diminishes every two seconds or something, we lose the point. So I wouldn't overdo it on that unless you have a lot of food. Oh man, this is amazing. Okay, we got we get actually hit a little bit more with that weapon because it's a little bit slower. But it's a lot of fun to actually fight with. That is awesome. Okay, let's go straight down and see if we can go to the treasure area where we left off last time. Okay, here we go. We're getting to the big room now. We still have to go all the way through the other cave. Oh. Let's eat something. Okay, we are actually a little bit more reckless, we get hit more, but we also do a lot of more damage, which is really awesome. So let's see here, we have a little bit of a wall here, so let's take that down. There we go, what was that, just normal rock, okay. Oh, look at that, we already got some nice chests, very good. Got some gold. couple of more um, coal which is nice we're doing a lot more damage this is really awesome okay so let's go we have another couple of nice oh I love it I love that power attack it is so awesome yeah he didn't even know what to do what to do Wow, 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 I was stuck there for a second. Okay, let's do the... <sighs> okay, the big guy was slightly worried about, but we're doing okay. We still have enough healing on us. <sighs> let's see if we can get to the final treasure box. There we go, we hit, we hit the crit. Very hard to time the crit with that. It's just another rhythm uh, compared to the weapon we already had. Nice. And that's it. Look at that. And what do we get? Oh, look at that. Sapphire's Lightstone. More Lightstone. Very nice. Good coin. And some sapphires, very nice. Sapphires, as far as I know, just for selling, so that's good, good money. Very good. So how much money do we have? 51 now. And we have uh, four light stones, which actually sell for a bit as well. And the only crafting we need for it right now is the light weapon we have. So let's go into the corrupted area a little bit more and see if we can find the end to that. All right. Our last healing used back into the corrupted area. Careful. <sighs> okay, we have a little bit of health left. There was a lot of monsters. Is that all of them? It literally is pitch black. Oh, we can hear a very disgusting. Okay, we have very little health left, so we're gonna have to skedaddle soon. Ah, oh, crap. Too many. Okay, let's go. We're not gonna get through this. We're gonna need to come in here with two stacks of berries for healing, guys. Yeah, we're gonna leave this video here. This was a lot of fun. I'm looking very much forward uh, to the final release or to the early access release. What story elements they might put into the games. What... Um, more monsters they're gonna add in the moment we have just one monster type definitely interested into the lore behind all the monsters you know if there is any or if it um you know always existed on the island or if it's something we can cure if there's like an end game plan for this 
I'm very excited for this. So anyway, I hope I guys uh, showed you guys a lot of all the different features. I know we didn't build a big base, but the point of this video was more to let you guys see as much of the game as possible so that you can get a very good idea what it's about. The demo should be available on Steam during the festival from the 16th to the 22nd of June. So go get it yourself while you can. Try it out. There's about at least three, four hours of gameplay if you want to really have a lot of fun and look at everything. So I hope you had a good time. If you did, remember to kick that like button in the balls and I hope to see you guys in the next video. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Until then, as always, huge pass and happy gaming.